Lenny can ruin a very nice day. Let's hope he doesn't show up. Hello, everyone. This is Matthew V21688 joining you once again, ready for episode number 26, I believe, of my, of my, uh, of my, uh, Press Your Luck season, and this is also the next of the uh, home uh, 27 rather, and this is the next of the home player spins. And last time, our good old friend Aubrey Scott, our Breezy Ob Station 87, ended up winning a trip to Alaska with the help of Steve Mankay 1987. Anyways, currently I have a I have three Skype guests with me, and they are a four year eight, Leaf Man 813, and Lease Fan 18. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Um, that's Leaf Man 813 and Friends in the And Friends, that. yes. So I've got you. It's a me, a Mario. Yep. And just before we start, and, and Mark's in position one, Eric is in position two, and Leaf is in position three, I'm going to assign you guys some names for the home player spin, so I'm just going to put it in this chat. So, so uh, please bear with me here. Oh, wait a minute, Matt. We have to spin our answers, right? Uh, Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm on my iPod. Well, I'm gonna well I'm gonna accept your situation, so you can use the dial pad. As long as you, uh, I mean, you guys can use the dial pad if you want to, but I want, but I must hear who gets in first. Okay. Uh, dial pad, dial pad, dial pad. Uh. Am I supposed to? No, I don't want to leave the call. Oh, um, I'll find all these. Pull up that dial pad. Ah, shit. And I'm gonna wow. and I'm gonna sign you guys your names right now. Um, what? I don't think I have a dial pad available to me actually. So. Oh, well, looks like um, you might have to voice out. So voice out or just so voice out or just or just type in buzz or anything. Either one, I will accept. So, anyways. I've got the question. You give me the answers. Correct buzz and answer gets you three spins. A correct multiple choice answer, one spin. Are we ready to go? Okay. Matt, Matt, hang on. Uh-huh. Uh, do it. Uh, hang on. Let me find a good buzzer to use. Uh, where is it? 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 Uh, Leaf, you can just say that you... You can just say... You can just say, I know it. Or uh, I'll just go, I... Okay. All right, first. All right, first question. In the English language, what kind of conjunction is the word "and"? Oh, I got it. Tough one. Oh, Eric. Would it be a uh, preposition? Is the correct answer preposition, coordinating, or subordinating? Mark? Preposition. Preposition for Mark. Let's go to Leaf. Coordinating. Well, guess what, Leaf? You would be right. It's a coordinating conjunction. Oh. Leaf gets a spin. Oh. Yeah, conjunctions and prepositions are two completely different types of parts of speech. Yeah. Thought so. Second question. When someone has said the Japanese phrase Ohio gozaimasu, what did they just say to you? I've got it. Oh. Lee, uh, Eric? What is the hello, how are you? Is the correct answer hello, how are you? Good evening or good morning? Mark? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you for Mark? Let's go to Leaf. I think it's good morning. Go Ohio goes I must means good morning. Leaf goes oh. to two. And I know absolutely nothing about Japanese. Third question. Think fast. How many pints make a gallon? Eat, eat, eat. Leaf? Looks like it's Leaf. Is the correct answer eight, nine, or ten? Mark? Eight. Eight for Mark. Let's go to Eric. Eight. 
Eight. Number of pints to make a gallon is eight. Mark gets a spin. Eric goes to one. And leaps to five. All right, final question. In math, how many factors does the number 20 have? Two zero. Leap. Six. Six um, factors. Is the correct answer six, five, or seven? Mark? Six. Six for Mark. Let's go to Eric. Six. Six. Twenty. The number 20 has six factors. Mark goes to two, Eric to two, and Leaf goes to eight. And that was the last question, so these players will take these spins to the big board, and they will try to wrestle the whammy out of commission in just a few moments. Alrighty then. I am oh, by the way, Mark. Yes? I need your decision for Super Card Sharks. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, big bucks time. Over twenty-three thousand dollars in cash and prize on the board. Some prize, and there are also some whammies out there. Whoever wins this round gets to play last in the final round. That's where you want to be. You can pass your mini spins any time during your turn if you have a fear of the whammy, and four whammies will put you out of the game. And just before I, and just before we get underway, I'll let uh, Leaf and Mark finish out what they had to say. Uh, I'll, uh actually, I think Leaf is not me. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get underway. A tie between Mar Eric and Mark. Player on the left. Mark, you're up first with two spins. Let's hit it. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty, big bucks. Let's not see a whammy. Let's not see a whammy. Stop. Stop it, big bucks. $1,250, Mark. Alright, that's not too bad. $1,250, and you have one spin left, Mark. Press your luck or pass. Go ahead and take it. Okay. I got it. Go ahead and my life. All right. Fishy. Fuck. No way. And stop. Stop. Stop at 400 big bucks. Marker 1650, a good haul. Let's go to the champ, Eric, with two of them. See what he can do. Eric, let's hit it. All right, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get the rocks no wind. And stop. Stop. Oh, whammy. All right, you might as well just get it out of the way early, Eric. One whammy, one spin. You're going to start again? Oh, and Mark's asking how much Eric's total was. It was $20,670. Forgot to mention that earlier. Stop at $400. 400 Eric. Second place for now. Let's go to Leaf with eight big spins. Leaf, let's hit it. I got to go. Stop at five hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Five hundred seven spins left. Second place, Leaf. About eleven fifty less than Mark. Let's spin it. Gonna go. All right. Gone, Leaf. Six spins left. Gonna start again? Go for it. Okay. Stop at 300 and a spin. Back in the chips, Leaf. $300. And you still have your six spins. About $100 less than Eric. $1,350 less than Mark. Third place. Five spins left, 
1500, 350 less than Mark, second place. Gonna go, all right. Stop at two hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred leap, four spins left, one hundred fifty less than Mark, four spins. What do you want to do? Again. Okay. Stop at five hundred and a spin. $2,000, Leaf. You have four spins, and now you're in first place by $350. You're in first place by $350. Four spins left. $350 is not that big of a lead. Let's keep going. Okay. Stop at $500. 2,500 leaf, three spins left, first place by 850. Still not enough. I'll keep going. I gotta go. All right. That's my luck. All right. Stay away from that whammy. Stop. Stop. Stop at a whammy. That guy went and passed a background check for Santa Claus. Leaf, you have three, you have two whammies, two spins, no dollars. You want to be careful of picking up a third whammy for round two. I know, I know. Let's keep going. All right. I don't say I didn't warn you. Don't push it, man. Stop. Stop. Stop at four hundred dollars. A tie with Eric for second place. Le Leaf, you have one spin left. We're tied with Eric for second. Let's go. I'm gonna go, okay? Stop at $300. Eric, $400. Leaf, $700. And Mark, $1,650. You have first place and the advantage. And as this thing loads up, and we're going to get ready for question round number two in just a couple of moments. And here we go right now. All right. And we're going to do this all over again. So I got some more questions. This round of spin can be worth as much as $5,000. Are we ready? All right. Do it. Okay. Here we go with the first question. What university did Michael Jordan play basketball at before drafting for the NBA? I got it. I think Eric might have beat Mark. Yeah, it was Eric. It was Eric. Eric? Oh. North Carolina. Is the correct answer North Carolina, Temple, or Dartmouth? Mark? Yeah, North Carolina was my answer too, so I'm saying North Carolina. North Carolina for Mark. Let's go to Leaf. North Carolina. Michael Jordan played at North Carolina. Mark gets a spin. Eric three. And Leaf one. Tar Heels, I believe. Yep. Second question. What Ohio City uses the area code 216? I've got this one. Right. Big guy. Oh. Uh, yeah, Eric? Cleveland? Is the correct answer Cleveland, Cincinnati, or Des Moines? Mark? Um, I think it might be Cincinnati. Cincinnati for Mark. Let's go to Leaf. I'll try Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That, that, that Ohio City is Cleveland, folks. Oh. Eric goes to six. Third question. Everyone knows their fair share of keyboardists for music bands, but which music band is Kevin Hearn the keyboardist of? Oh God, I don't know. No. Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> okay, apparently none of you are familiar with keyboardists, as I thought. I'll give it to you multiple choice. If you write, you get to spin a piece. Uh, uh, what, uh, what music band is Kevin Hearn the keyboardist for? Is it No Doubt, The Cars, or Bare Naked Ladies? Mark? Um, I'll try Bare Naked Ladies. BNL for Mark. Let's go to Eric. Bare Naked Ladies. And Leaf? The Cars. Cars. Kevin Hearn is the keyboardist for Bare Naked Ladies. Mark goes to two, and Eric goes to seven, and Leaf stays at one. And we go to our fourth and final question. What day in April does virtually every American dread? I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. Mark first. Mark? Uh, that would be April 1st, or April Fool's Day, as it's called. Is the correct answer April 1st, April 15th, or April 14th, Eric? April 15th. 15th for Eric. Let's go to oh, Lee. Shoot. Yeah, it's April 15th. Yeah. Mark, it's not the 1st. It's the 15th, Mark. Mark stays at two, oh, Eric goes to eight, and Leaf stays. Mark stays at two, Eric goes to eight, and Leaf goes to two. Oh, and that was the last question. And Mark just embarrassed himself in front of at least a hundred million people. Oh, oh, oh no, I pulled the carry four zero two one. And we're now gonna go to the big board here. <laughs> and so don't close the window, people. I cannot believe I just Big Buck, did that. Big Buck time, over $68,000 in cash and prize on the board. Some prizes more than $5,000, so there are also some whammies out there. Whoever wins this game gets to take it all home and come back again. Uh, Dollar-wise, Eric with $400, Leaf at $700, and Mark at $650. You have first place, so you will play last. You earned it. We're going to go to the player with the least amount of bucks. That's Eric with $400 and eight big spins. Eric, hit it. Stop at a thousand dollars and a spin. Fourteen hundred, Eric. Second place. Two fifty less than Mark. You still have your eight spins. Gonna go, all right. Stop at seven hundred fifty dollars. First place, Eric, twenty-one fifty, five hundred dollars more than Mark, and you have seven spins. Gonna go, all right. Stop at five hundred dollars. All right. Twenty-six fifty, Eric, and you have and you have six spins left. So just a quick moment. I'm gonna be right back. So hold that thought. Let's go. I'm back, and uh, Eric, you have $2,650, and you have six spins left. You're in first place by $1,000 over Mark. Let's go, man. Gonna go, all right? Stop at 700 and a spin. Thirty-three fifty, Eric. You're in, you still have your six spins. You're first place by seventeen hundred now over Mark. I gotta go. Gonna go, all right. Whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it. Oh, that must be one play of spin time. That is correct. All right, all right. Now, Eric, would you please would you please read me the name that I assigned to you for the home player spin? 
I believe it's Steven Mann came in 1987. All right, and our, our prior champion. So, Steve, if you're watching this, grab on to something lucky because whatever Eric wins, you will win also. And if Eric hits a whammy, he will lose all his money, but you'll receive $500 courtesy of the whammy. And if Eric hits money plus a spin, you will get the, you will get the money, and Eric gets the money and the spin. Are we ready, Eric? Okay, for Eric and Steve. Come on. Come on, big boss. Let's win something for Steve. Let's win something for Steve. No whammy, no whammy. And stop. Stop that old whammy. Oh, so Eric hits a whammy, so Eric loses all his money, so he's down to two whammies and zero dollars and five spins, and Steve, on the other hand, gets five hundred dollars courtesy of the whammy, but for now, we're going to continue proceedings, and Eric, you have five spins and two whammies, no bucks. Okay. Champ's looking to get back in the chips. No more whammies, no more whammies, no more whammies, come on, and stop, stop. Stop at five hundred big bucks. Third place, third place, four spins. Press your locker pass. You're two hundred dollars less than Leaf. Let's go. Gonna go. All right. Stop. Stop at a grandfather clock, Eric. That clock is worth three thousand three hundred seventy-six dollars. You're at thirty-eight seventy-six. And you have three spins left. You're in first place by $2,226. Gonna go, okay? Stop at $1,000 and a spin. 4876 You still have your three spins, Eric. 3226 more than Mark. Three spins. Gonna go, okay? Stop at $2,500. That's more like it. Eric, you have $7,376. You're in first place by $5,726 over Mark, and you have two spins left. Gonna go, alright? Stop at 700 and a spin. 8,076, Eric. You still have your two spins. Now you have almost 60. Now you have over 6,400 dollars more than Mark. Gonna go, all right. Stop at four thousand dollars and a spin. Twelve thousand seventy six dollars and you have two and you still have your two spins, Eric. You're in first place by ninety six hundred dollars. No, ten thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Gonna go, all right. Stop at twenty two fifty. Right. Eric, fourteen thousand three two six. You're in first place by twelve thousand six seven six, and you have one spin left. What are you gonna do? Forget this. I'm passing. Passing him. It goes to Mark. One to you, Mark. But you don't take it yet because we now go to Leaf with seven hundred dollars and two spins. Leaf, let's hit it. I gotta go. That's my life. Okay, let's see something. Stop at 700 and a spin. Doubled your money to 1400 and you still have your two spins. You're in third place. You are 250 less than Mark. Two spins. Stop at Boston, Leaf. Boston, Massachusetts, that trip is worth 2142 You're in second place with 3542 and you have one spin left. You are, uh, let's see, you are about $11,800 less than Eric. Passing it, it goes to Eric. A little strategy going on. Eric, you have 14, Eric, 14326 on the line. 
Stop it, 750 and a spin. Uh, Eric, $15,776, and now you have one spin you can take or pass because it's in the urn column. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a really bad move. I'm going to take it. going to take it, okay? Come on. Come on. Baby, baby, baby. Come on, come on, come on, big bucks in the wind. Stop at 700 and a spin. You saw that one spin, Eric. 15,776. About 12,100 more than, about $12,000 more than Leaf. Passing it. It goes back to Leaf. Leaf, 35.42 on the line. Stop at a BP gas card, Leaf. That is worth two thousand dollars. You're at fifty-five forty-two. Second place for now. We're going to go to Mark with sixteen hundred fifty dollars. Once been passed him by Eric. Mark, let's go. All right. Maybe this pass spin will help. Me. Big bucks, big bucks. No end. Stop. Stop at seven hundred fifty and a spin. It did help you out a bit. Twenty-four hundred, Mark. Third place. Three spins. What's your pleasure? Now you have three spins you can take for pass. Okay. Stop it, India, Mark. That trip to India is worth five thousand two hundred sixty-three dollars. That brings you up to seven thousand six six three. That's about eighty-one hundred, eighty-one hundred dollars and so. 8100 and so some dollars less than less than Eric 81 uh four, 8113 two spins left He has 15,776. Okay, and I have two spins left. Eric has some of those spins. You're going to pass? I'm passing them. Passing on those two. Go to Eric. A little strategy going on. Eric, two shots. All right, let's go. Come on, big bucks. Come on, big bucks. No wins, no wins. And stop. Stop. Stop at $1,000 and a spin. 16,776, one spin in the urn columns. Eric, one more spin, yeah, it's taken. Here it comes. Then we can discuss that urn spin that you have. Stop at $500. Eric, you avoided the whammy two times. You're at 17,276. You have one spin you can take or pass. You will, you, if you can avoid the whammy, you will win the game. If you whammy, Mark wins the game. What are you going to do, Eric? Take the spin, or are you going to pass to Mark? Passing. Passing it. It goes back to Mark. Oh, Mark, yes. No. Mark, yes. 7,663. You will have to get something to get you another spin to stay alive, to, uh, stay alive to beat Eric. Are you ready, Mark? Are you ready, Eric? Okay, let's do it. Who's the champ today? Stop at a fur coat, and that is not enough at $3,400. And Eric, you did it. You're the champ again with And we're back with today's big press your luck winner, Eric, with $17,276. And just before we get to how much he won, 
Eric, uh, our home, your home player, Steve Mankade, 1987, ended up with $500, unfortunately, because of your whammy. Because, of, yes. unfortunately, you did hit the whammy. But, Eric, you did come back to win, which is very commendable, and you get to hear what you want. Okay, Eric, you won a grandfather clock. All right. And that prize totals three thousand three hundred and seventy-six dollars. That combined with the with the thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars in cash you won today, and the twenty thousand six hundred and seventy dollars in cash and prizes you won previously, and that gives you a grand total, Eric, of thirty-seven thousand nine hundred forty-six dollars. Congratulations! Well done, Eric. Thirty-seven thousand nine four six, and you are now officially the highest scorer for two games in my for my first season of Press Your Luck. And you get to come back again until you crack $50,000 or somebody beats you. But before we go, we have one final piece of business to take care of. Uh, Leaf and Mark, I would like you guys to read off the names that I assigned to you. Unless Leaf can't, um, unless Leaf can't um, scroll up with his iPod. Uh, yeah. Alright, for me, I, I had Ben Mason Television. Okay, and Leaf, who did you have? I had Larry 4,009 returns. All right, Eric. All right, uh, Ben, Alex, I'm sorry you did not get the home player spin, but you'll receive a consolation prize of $250 courtesy of the Whammy. <coughs> so, and, we'll, and to sweeten the deal, we're going to put you guys back in the drawing for the home player spin. So for now, so until we see Eric and two new players, this is Matthew saying thanks for pressing your luck. Goodbye.